Hello and welcome to EastEnders Chat. It's really late, it's like one o'clock in the morning here in Cyprus. Um, I think this is basically uh, an unplanned video. Um, this is reacting to the news that um, Daniel Harold, aka Lola Pierce, I think that's what the, her surname is on the show, is being written out of EastEnders. Now, there has been a massive a backlash to this exit, a massive backlash. This is unprecedented. I have never seen the likes of this before. My Facebook inbox is jam-packed with EastEnders fans um, venting at me. I don't know why, I have nothing to do with the show, but um, venting about it and um, kind of um, over on Twitter on my DM, again, my direct message box, totally jam-packed. And there's talk of a boycott of EastEnders. This is massive. So let's get to the heart of the problem. Accusations that have been made against EastEnders showrunner Dominic Treadwell Collins that he hasn't been giving Lola any stories or anything. And that's true. He denied it the other week, but he can't deny it. It's true. Now, it's safe to say that Danielle isn't related to a multimillionaire, aka Alan Sugar, or uh, the Director General, or anything like that. Now, this is why people are angry as well. Now, Mimi Keane, aka Cindy, is a very weak actress. Her performances are consistently weak, but she gets to keep her job. That's nothing personal against Mimi. That's just the way I see it. And it's the way a lot of people are seeing it as well. So, this exit stinks. Why has she been written out? Um, they may come out with the justification, oh, the... Uh, it's, the character's gone as far as she'll go, like they always do. Um, Daniel Harold's response, her official quote, because when actors leave a show, they sign agreements. They can't say this and they can't say that. Not for a long time, anyway. Um, so she just said, you know, thanks to everyone, and she's, um, you know, looking forward to her future. But what future can you look forward to when you've been written out of a show like EastEnders? like this. I don't expect her exit to be big. I don't expect her exit to be dramatic. It will be very, very kind of quiet. Very quiet. Um, but everyone's upset because when Lorraine Newman, who was running the show a couple of years ago, let's put it straight, Lola was her Stacy. Lacey Turner wasn't in EastEnders at the time. She'd left. Uh, she was doing Our Girl and doing a few other things. Um, so Lola was the new Stacy in all intents and purposes. And when she was given something big to do, her performances were brilliant. She nailed them. Really good young actress, really good. Um, so I think all the fans are kind of disappointed for her as well. Um, it's... I'm not surprised. No one's surprised by the announcement. No one's, um, no one's surprised that this has happened. Um, but we're all disappointed because we think it's rather unfair um, that she's going. Um, now, it leads you to ask other questions. Why did they get rid of her? Was she a difficult customer? Well, she hasn't been a difficult customer for the past couple of years and they kept her. What's going on? And it, there's an unbalance, isn't there, over at EastEnders? I mean, it's not been a great week for EastEnders in the sense of you've had Phil Daniels, uh, who used to be in EastEnders, saying that EastEnders should be axed. axed. Um, but actually, his reasons were shit. His reasons for wanting the axe were absolute nonsense, that it's too depressing, it's too gloomy. You know, these are arguments we've heard before. EastEnders was created to be gloomy, and actually, these days, for me, EastEnders isn't gloomy enough. Uh, so, you know, it's a drama, and it should be gloomy, and it's not. And actually, it is very light, and they do try and be funny, more often than not, and it's, for me, that's not the way EastEnders should be. But I had these arguments, and you know, I always give the argument for Dominic Treadwell Collins as well, he's worked really hard to turn the show around because it was in a very weak position when he took over. He's done some great things, but he's also done things that I don't agree with and approve for, of. So, that's, um, you have to excuse me, it's really late, I'm a loaf to drink, but I had to do this video because it's a big issue for the EastEnders fans, and I don't think the BBC actually care about the EastEnders fans and I think someone really should speak for them and, and that's going to be me. Um, let me let me be clear to you. Petitions against this will not work. Um, shouting your mouths off on Twitter won't work. 
we're going to wear our grievances, that's fine. But they're not going to listen. The only way they'll ever listen is if we hit them with the ratings. And the only way, and that is the only way, if they get low ratings, but then you have to look at it. Personally, if I was sacked from somewhere and then they were they kind of forced to give my job back, when I, would I want to go back? I would feel unwanted. And, you know, if you don't want me, you don't want me. It's like a girlfriend who dumps you. You don't want to keep on begging her to take you back because, you know, she really don't want to take you back. Uh, so, as I say, it's a situation that doesn't smell right. That's, that's, that she was never given anything, anything. And it, it's kind of odd. It's kind of odd. No effort. Because this is, this is the evidence that doesn't sit, if you dominate Treadwell Collins, you're sitting a bit uncomfortable. Uh, when he came in, there was a lot of talk from the fans that they wanted Kim written out because Kim was just a comedy character. Most people didn't like Kim. Um, he's made a big effort to make Kim a viable, dramatic character, getting her together with Vincent, you know, and, you know, Richard Blackwood, who plays Vincent, and her kind of hit it off, and they've done well. But no effort of the same kind or the same measure was made with Lola. So that's interesting. Why not? You have to ask the question, why not Lola? What was wrong with Lola? Um, the accusation may be that he, maybe he thought she wasn't up to it. But I don't believe that. As I say, if he thinks Mimi King's up to it, or well, why isn't Daniel Harold, Daniel Harold um, all right to carry on in EastEnders? It's very strange listen listen to me it's not like she's um Lola was the greatest eastenders character of all time that's not the issue here the issue here, here is there were there were weaker people in team eastenders that could have been got rid of and they didn't do it now he's not going to get rid of people he's brought in that's his characters that's what he wants going forward no one's going to do it so he he's trying to whittle down the people that came before him he can't get rid of the originals he wouldn't dare um, so he's he's gone for Lola. It's interesting. I think it's an interesting. And then you have to see, say to yourself, where does he leave Billy Mitchell? Billy had a family. Uh, he had um, Lola. He had Lola's kid. Um, what happens to him? I know there's some kind of effort to find him a kind of someone to play off with. Um, they've obviously put him with the Cokers. So that kind of another kind of crafty move that made Lola kind of redundant didn't it once Billy was with the Cokers there wasn't much interaction between Billy and Lola as well so now normally normally you would ask you would ask other people in, in if this was a footballer who would have been dismissed or transferred we could talk to other people but we can't it's all a closed book everyone's told to keep their mouth shut nothing's going to come out none of the actors on EastEnders are going to go public they're not allowed to they don't want to lose their jobs, but it doesn't sit easy. It doesn't sit easy for me, and it doesn't sit easy for the fans because it seems unfair. That's the whole thing here. It seems unfair. It doesn't seem right, does it, to actually sit here when I was kind of getting excited. Uh, Bonnie Langford's kind of been brought into it as a new Barbara Windsor, a.k.a. Peggy Mitchell kind of character, and she's worked. A lot of his plans are beginning to work and bear fruit. That's not the point. There's still big issues with EastEnders. It's never going to be the show we want it to be. It's never going to be the classic EastEnders we grew up with. There's no question about that. It's not really down to Dominic Treadwell Collins. It's down to the BBC. They don't want that. They're not brave enough. That's why you see shapes like Emmerdale and Hollyoaks really pushing the boundaries where EastEnders is kind of easy, easy, safe. Um, they've announced they're going to do a cystic fibrosis storyline. We know there's a transgender storyline coming. Both big stories coming to EastEnders. But they seem to really show off about doing kind of big social issues. But when it comes down to it, they actually cop out and they don't go the full length with it. We'll see. I am um, sad about Danielle Harold. One of my endearing memories of her is that smile, that lovable smile. I thought she was a character that everyone loved. And I'm sad and I feel robbed for her. And that's all I have to say. I'm not going to bed yet, but I'm tired, and my voice is getting croaky. So good night. We'll speak again, and I'll keep you updated about this boycott, because there is big talk about that happening. See you later. Bye-bye.